Hello and welcome to Fallout New Vegas first reloads into the map. Now I've been informed that I missed something really important. Now it makes a little difference as to who informed me of this, but something really important. Wait, was it that? No, it was this place. And I did forget to check the directions. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna wait until the morning anyway. Because night is good. And light is appreciated because it's good. I suppose that there is a place nearby that may or may not be very much worth looking into. Hello. Is it beyond the radar fence then? I hope not. Wait, why is it affecting me? Should not be affecting me, the thingy. Oh, I forgot I left my axe behind. This is what happens when I come to new places, right? That, no, no, that's still not enough for you. There you go. Huh. Now there's another one. Right, maybe if I go to stealth, maybe it hasn't noticed me yet. It certainly noticed me. Alright, well. Doesn't seem to have all of its limbs. So maybe that will help. Come on, I have the entirety of my brain. What's the problem here? Why is the thing being all mean to me? Shut down. You're the Berserk one. You also fought a different version? Different model? Alright, this is the damaged one. And... You know, actually remember... To sneak this time. A recon armor helmet? Why would I need that? I would not need that, that's why. Yeah, I'm taking these. Oh yeah, also yes, taking these. Yeah, I'm not using a lot of the weapons that use those sorts of things right now, but... Does it mean I'm not taking those? Maybe it's here? Please be here, because I really forgot to check directions. Uh, looks like the place. Elias Watch. Now, there's a good reason why we came here. An exceptionally good reason. As soon as I remember it, I'll let you know. Alright, there's supposed to be a spatula here somewhere. I think it was a spatula. Well, one of the things that makes me very excited about the game. I think that's spatulas. Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait. It's not a spatula. This is a Tesla cannon! Yeah, this is a Mark IV turret. It seems to be crashed. Um... Can I just leave now? No, we have enemy markers and they're probably coming our way. Probably. Yes, they most certainly are. Alright, maybe if I climb behind this... Here. Wait, no. This thing actually noticed me now. Huh. There's like a ton of robotomites down there. Just no easy way out, is there? Oh, yes there is. Wait, no. You know, this is the first item on my list, but that doesn't mean... Come on. I'm absolutely not in combat, see? I'm in caution, that is not combat. That would be really cheap otherwise, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'd love it though, it would just mean I could leave any situation I would want to, at any time I would want to. 
Hello, you have wooden great with uh, more uh, than charge packs. Awesome. Okay, we do have the. There's a cannon now, right? There's a cannon. There's a cannon. I don't have the means to repair it there. Um, that's a lie. We do have the means to repair it. Look at this beautiful thing. It's a beauty, it is. But we'll keep it for later. For now, I wa just want to get out of here. There we go. Ambush evaded, and we are now back in this area. I think the Sunset Drive in is the best option then. Well, here we are. I don't remember what was actually in going on in this area. It's been quite a while since we were last here. Ah, now, we want to go to the canyon wreckage, I assume. So I guess we can choose the reunion as our mission. I suppose. Um. Oh, I see. It's these guys. Pop goes the head. The primary issue with these guys is that they don't drop any ammo for the ammo I use up to kill them. And I completely miss them repeatedly. There's a den mother? Are the pops then? Or are they all ten mothers? Did they all give birth to one another? And they always have the best gifts for Mother's Day because their gift is one another. I know this one is a pop, certainly. Nope. Nope. I have no idea how that was a sneak attack. Don't question it. Can I get a sneak attack with this? Let's try it. Wait! So it's a very different desert cannon. Does it look anything like what we've seen before? Huh. Well, Alright. I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised. I was hoping for one of those uh, really ridiculous ball things. But I guess this is more similar to what Tesla was actually trying to make. You see, he tried to make one of those things. Not a Tesla cannon per se, but a way to direct energy. It does as a beam, not as a bouncy ball, like uh, the original Tesla Cannon was in the game. Alright, well. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no way to give the order from here for people to not follow me. No, of course not. Are you following me? Don't follow me. Can we go now? Nope. Am I career 6? I don't know what my number is. What I do know is that I only know this one place where I can quickly get rid of my companions. And that is... Up your bum. Every previous one has just assigned them to go home. You know? Alright, walk the lonesome road. Um. I can't say I appreciate the weather here. Can we wait until it improves? Does the weather ever actually improve here? Um. I'm gonna go check inside this pipe. 
Holy shit. I'm sure this is supposed to be looking more impressive. Let me try. Or not, it's just always a storm. Or is it fading now? I think it's fading. I think we're about to actually see what's to be seen here. Awesome. Um. We saw two routes available to us. But I don't know which one is wiser to take. Well, here's the Hopeville missile silo. Alright, well, we can quick travel here now because we have the marker, right? So we can just go and check upstairs as well. I'm still uncertain whether or not... Apparently the wiki will move, still move 5% slower than while running, but it's still 5% faster than the usual walking speed, so it's like... Hmm... I really don't know. Is this everything? Did you just have a... Is this the entire reason to come up here? One duffel bag? Appears so. Well, good to know. Ah, uh, no. This weather really looks terrible. What's going on in this place? Ah. Uh, America's... Bright future in your hands. Okay. It's kind of difficult to read with a with these red markers and the things. The sandstorm and the missing letters. Those are the things. You can go home, courier. Lonesome road. Um. That door opened all on its own. Which is not creepy at all. Oh, fuck balls. What is this? Uh, sure. Main power offline, emergency power standby, maintenance report non operational, non operational, non operational. That's fine. I don't want to go. Um. I don't... I'm not sure... Okay, let's go check the utility. I did... Apparently the brass store terminal there was encrypted anyway, so... Despite the fact that I was able to actually... That I didn't actually try it... West... Thing did know to tell me that. Alright, so we got another energy weapon. Cool. And there's a breathing mask here. Not entirely sure about it. It probably clashes with the glasses, right? Yeah. Let's do otherwise. Rad resistance. Alright, alright. I guess that's okay. Acceptable. Okay, okay. That's some quartz. You could go Ooh, hello. We have located the body body. Come on. Pot pot status locked. Uh, that's still the same one. Attention all base personnel. The automated commissary system has been locked down until further notice. It turns out that the counterfeit proof pay chits we've been. Issuing to you are exactly the same size and shape as ordinary bottle caps. Until we can correct the problem, you'll have to make your book cases the old fashioned way. <laughs> Attention, all base personnel. This is just a reminder that all base commissary terminals draw from the same central depository. Please do not waste your time. All the technicians by running from commissary to commissary. You won't get any more whiskey than you did from the first one. Alright. Oh, also, uh. 
Unlock prototype pod pod. Thank you. Open up, buddy, buddy. Oh my. Hello. Um, Edie, what are you doing here? Exposition? This silo must have some pretty advanced engineering facilities to remote scan you and build copies. I think I could use your help getting out of here. Can you go with me? Awesome. Experiment log 369248-B. iBot DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. No, it is Eddie. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. That's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electronic security? Only panels with a dish shaped receiver. The console in the main room had one of those, I think. Uh, was that the voice of your creator? What happened to him? Alright, let's keep moving. Very happy in your ways of peeping, aren't you? Well, this way the reactor has been closed off. Probably not a surprise. Alright, unlock the terminal. That's a very aggressive way of pick locking. So basically, I can buy shit from here. Awesome. I'll give you two bucks for it. Okay, I'll give you some more money for it. I suppose I'll also give you some caps for it. I grabbed all of the upgrades for the device signature weapon, but I have no idea where the device signature weapon itself is. But you know, we got an achievement for spending like 30,000 caps. So is this something you can use? Where are you? You look, look a fair bit different than my usual ED. And they didn't even give you the order for that, you just went for it. Alright, let's restore the power. No, don't launch the new. Look, there's a body body over there. He's fixing the nukes. Is that cool? That's cool, right? Your body body is fixing the nukes. Wait. Oh no, that's a destroy guy bot. Okay, uh. Nice. Thank you. So apparently we can upgrade your stuff every now and then. And do I have to talk to you about it? Huh. So basically he has everything. Literally every... Alright, uh, I'll use a reloading bench then. Thank you. Come on. Um. Where's the... Oh yeah, there we are. There we go. Alright, we're gonna break down... These ones again, of course. all of the eye of it and then we're gonna do things like this yeah come on give me all of that mm. delicious all right there are actual computers around as well oh I wasn't sure what which one I was clicking but you know close enough as long as we got the door open right yeah 
Okay. Good, good. Uh, now, the important thing is us hoping that nothing blows the fuck up. Right, because I'm quite sure what we saw there was supposed to be a nuclear missile. And not just a random missile. Yeah? Okay, I'm not sure what the purpose of this room is. Alright, oh, cool. There's also a door here, which I completely didn't notice last time. I think that is, quite frankly, a very justified response to the situation. Dr. Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, Whitley, there you are. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot DuraFrame project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too... You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him! Don't be ridiculous, it's just a machine. See here, I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here! Fine, Whitley, it's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the Colonel about this. It sounds like Dr. Whitley really cared about you. Who the hell is General Winters? The recording mentioned the Colonel in Autumn. Uh, Dr. Grant sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. You don't have to tell me, I would have beat the crap out of her. That's a terrible story, but we should get moving. Though I'm not entirely certain us moving to the top of the missile is a good idea. Where did that lady go, anyway? Yeah, I... I understand your fear. We are literally next to a missile. And probably not one of those good ones with puppies in them. I don't think there are things with puppies in them. Security status, security level active. I don't know, we don't need robot security, I don't think. Yeah. Um. That sounded like it died instead of being simply shut down for a moment. There was a certain explosiveness to the sound of it. Yeah. Who locks a desk? Who locks an entire desk? I'm not used to the surface of it, not the whatever lies in within. Right. Well, yeah, I don't need that. Let's go. First there was a security goat. Is it something we can use? No. Also, I completely forgot. We didn't actually check for some of the stuff in Elias much. I thought there was supposed to be some reports on what he was up to, maybe. I think this is the toy we're looking for. Yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. It's the flare gun. Are you legit using a flare gun against me?